Your forecast time now is 951 as we take this live look over Comerica Park. We cannot get enough of this shot today because we're just so proud of our Tigers. It was such a great game, a close one, but we won and now yes. they're six to one. It's going to be a good Ooh, season. I love it and I love the fact that we can play without rain today, yeah. more comfortable this weekend. Overall, the weather is going to cooperate. So when we look at our headlines, we're talking about an improved weekend overall. I know rain returns on Sunday night into Monday, but next week it's going to feel every bit like spring with temperatures back into the 60s. It's going to feel good. So there you can see Comerica in the distance. 38 are low this morning. 36 is what we average. So a little bit above 55 an average high. I think we're going to be close to that today and tomorrow. We look at our records. 83 is a record high. That was way back in 1929 and our record low of 18 degrees. That was set back in 1982. Right now we're sitting at 46 degrees and a little more cloud cover in Detroit versus areas to our west, but a north wind at 12 and it feels like 41 degrees. So when we look at our wind chills, we were in the 20s yesterday morning. We're in the 30s now. Our temperatures in the 40s, just improvement overall. Temperatures low to mid 40s across the board and our wind forecast not as gusty is yesterday. Winds about 5 or 10 miles per hour. I think pretty steady around 10 out of the north through the afternoon. One thing we're noticing with high temperatures today, those high temperatures are going up at a distance. So Atlanta was around 60, mid 60s, 60 Cincinnati, unlike the 40s and 50s. So we're starting to recover and we're getting some of that warmth over the central plains and the upper Midwest. And that just continues to move in our direction. So that's where we're getting some improvement. We do have a warm front that will work its way through and that's early next week. So temperatures in the mid 50s today will drop down to about 32 overnight and then see those 50s again tomorrow. Now tomorrow is a change in wind direction. All it takes is a change in wind direction, a little bit more cloud cover, and it'll knock us down a couple of degrees. Not a huge dip, but a couple of degrees cooler than today. Hour by hour forecast shows beautiful influence of high pressure though today into most of tomorrow. Tomorrow will be an increasing cloud cover out ahead of this area of rain. This is nine o'clock at night, moving areas south of I-94, like areas like Lenaway County, moving into Washtenaw County. So it's gonna be late, moves through overnight into early Monday morning. This is what we've been timing as far as rain. So rain looks to move out by about nine o'clock or so, and then the clouds should follow as we go into the afternoon. So when we look at our eclipse cloud cover forecast, I'm gonna start at Monday at 5 a.m. A lot of cloud cover around. It looks very pessimistic in the morning with those showers, but as the system starts to lift away, I think we'll see more of those breaks in the overcast. We should get to about maybe even 30 to 40% cloud coverage by the time we get to one or two o'clock in the afternoon. And that'll be favorable. At least we're gonna see some of it as we go through Monday. And it looks like it improves as the day wears on. And look at the temperature, 60s on Monday.